that we are not trying to legalize anything at all. We are merely trying to set up controls over <coughs> some laws that have been legalized by the state of Oklahoma and by a vote of the people. And we are not setting up, trying to set up something that the state or supersede the state on anything at all. And I want people that are interested in this to understand that. And if you're interested to be down at the hearing Thursday, because there's a lot of good people that feel both ways about it. I'll say it in this way, wets and dries, that are misinformed. And it's merely to control what has been legalized. fact that our police force is understaffed, under-equipped, and I believe underpaid. This I was not aware of until two weeks ago when I had a prowler at 1020 at night, called the police department, and over an hour later still did not have a car at my house. Uh, of course, at first I was furious with the police department. And then I started investigating, and I find that they do not have enough cars. They do not have enough men. But I think it's a sad state of affairs when a city the size of ours cannot offer a little better protection than that. Perhaps it takes an increase in the budget. Uh, if so, I would highly recommend that the budget to the police department be increased. You're certainly correct in that the budget allows only so much, and we would like to increase the overall budget. Uh, that's one of the responsibilities which we try to get worked out, which is pretty difficult to do. Uh, we, uh, at some time, possibly in the near future, we may be coming to you and every other citizen of Oklahoma City with the possibility of imposing uh, another tax, if you might call it that. Uh, I don't know whether we will or not. I'm not saying we're going to at this time, but then we do have the legislation for it. We recommended to the council that we continue the training program and upgrade the staff so that they are able to do this kind of work and can take over in the future, and particularly that we do this kind of planning with them. We provide the professional advice and train them to do all of the rest of the city. We have many other supplementary things in this proposal. We recommended that the council go ahead with this, and the 
fee involved will be $20,000 for the next uh, six months. During the last few months, we have reached a point where we have too much refined products on hand on an industry-wide basis. This primarily was brought about by an excess of imports during the first three months of this year and excess production during the first six months of this year. Someplace, there must be a slowing down and a catching up of inventories on hand as compared to market demand for the finished product. Mr. Robin, do you feel it will be very long before our demand catches up with our supply again? Of course, I am hopeful that our demand will never catch up with our supply because from a standpoint of national defense, we must at all times maintain a productive capacity in excess of our market demand. Otherwise, if an emergency comes to the United States, we will find that we will not, we will find ourselves without sufficient oil to provide the protection that the nation requires. Some of the new ball players that we have coming with the Detroit Lions this year is Nick Petrosani from Notre Dame, who I think is going to help uh, us in a lot of ways. I think he's going to help us uh, also make John Henry play the type of ball that he played for us in 1957. We also have a guard by the name of Ray Bowl from Indiana, another linebacker by the name of Coase, and we went out, we, we drafted big tackles that uh, may help us, and Luciano and Gratko, and if some of these ball players do come through for us this coming year, then we're going to be up there in top four the championship race. This is one formation that we get into, what we call the outright with Hopalong Cassidy as our flanker, man, we call our flanker five to either side. Now, our quarterback, Tobin Road, is one of the top runners in this league as a quarterback, so this works out very well for us. Now, we send Cassidy in as the flanker in at an angle like that, and then out that way. We send Gibbons, our right end, in what we call a, a hook pattern right there. Now, Gibbons, our right halfback, just gets by this end, and he does a what we call a cut out there. John Henry comes over here to block here for anybody when these two guards pull out here to be personal interference for our quarterback. Tobin Roth then wheels out around this way and when he gets to this spot here, he either is going to pass or he decides to run. And if he does pass, he can either throw to three men here, Cassidy, Gedman, or Gibbons with Jim Dorn coming in as a safety valve. If he decides to run, then that is the reason why we call it an option play. You can either run or pass, and it's been a very good scoring play for us. 